Meanwhile, the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission, the PURC, has justified the 11.7% upward review in electricity tariffs. Now, the Commission says the decision was as a result of prudent cost review and effective monitoring after considering tariff proposals from stakeholders, including the utility service providers. While the maximum demand charge on industrial customers, referred to as a special low tariff meant to cushion Ghanaian industries and businesses, has also been removed. All right, so we're going to stay a while longer on issues of tariffs. Uh, I've also been joined in the studio by energy consultant Kojo Poku. Kojo, thank you very much for your time. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. How are you? Good. I'm very well, thank you. Yourself? I'm okay. Okay, so let's nice talk thing. about the, the, the recent uh, tariff. You just about to say something? Sorry. No, I just say you have a nice tie on. Thank you. Thank you. I'm learning from you. <laughs> <laughs> Kojo, so um, we had an announcement from the PURC of an increase in electricity tariffs. Uh, by some 11.17%, and uh, they sought to justify that yesterday. Uh, talked about increase in inflation and also the exchange rate uh, differentials over the period. Uh, justified? Yeah, very. Um, mm. Some of us have even expected it to be more. Mm. Um, you realize that back in February, we were looking at the increase in February, which was deferred. And if the February has been announced, it would have come up more. Um, I think the reason that February was deferred to January there were some mitigation that the government felt they can make to PLC. Let's look at how PLC, you know, we are trying to make it look like PLC, who have been doing this work for a very long time, don't really know what they're doing. And people are bastardizing PLC for one time they've decreased it and one time they've increased it. Look, everybody makes their submission to PLC. If PLC looks at the figures, and it's a commission, they sit, work the numbers, and if it's justified, they will increase accordingly. In February, when they intended to increase the figures, they had the inflation, the FX, and all that goes into them looking at an upward increase. But then the government, which has a responsibility to Ghanaians, now felt that, look, if the increase based on what is there, goes ahead as it is. It might be burdensome to Ghanaians. So the government seeks to do certain things. And based on the exercises conducted by the government, I mean, key in that is the cost of uh, fuel, which is the gas that we use. Subsequently, from 2017, um, we have been told that government has been able to reduce the cost of gas from 9.8 to 7.8, now to 6.08 which all these things plus other mitigating factors that they presented to PLC. PLC accepted the figures government have presented, now use that to offset the calculation that they have. And that is where we end up with 11.17. And just like the water service providers, the utility uh, service providers as well, were expecting something higher. Uh, how will this impact on the operations? Well, it would impact, you see, rightfully, there is going to be, going forward, more people coming into the system. Mm. Last year, IPPs. 2017, mm. no, 2017, mm. when there was the reduction, mm. there was increase in demand. Okay. When there's increase in demand, it means that all these PPAs that has been contracted, which government does the take or pay, and the capacity charges government pay. Mm. Since the demand is going up, it means that more of the electricity is being used. We are getting revenue from these um, electricity being used. Mm. One of the big changes that people have not also factored in is PDS. PDS has come in to guarantee that revenue mobilization works well. They are going to reduce the losses in the past from 2015 till about 2018. The losses is about 24 point something, sometimes 23.9. Mm. PDS has guaranteed a 22% um, which is a reduction of about one point something percent within the coming years. Mm. And it would improve to about 8% at the end of the five years that PDS is in, um, the first five years PDS is in place. Mm. So revenue generation, technical losses reduction, those will be able to help mobilize a lot of money and pay the bills that are supposed to be paid. So I think the utilities or the IPPs will be very happy with the 11% mm. because I think it brings it to the level that the industry wants I was to. at that press conference yesterday and a very important question was asked by uh, one of the journalists from Radio Go that why do we consumers have to pay for the uncollectible revenues? Why, why are we being burdened with that? Well, it's the practice. Mm. Look, you look at the IPPs mm. produce electricity mm. at a cost. Mm. When they produce electricity, they put it on the lines to you and I. Mm. 
in the technical generation is copper line so some of the electricity dissipates mm. some of the old machinery that we have also does not help in keeping and storing electricity that's supposed to come to you mm. so we, those are the technical losses okay in other parts of the world is between five to eight percent which is acceptable mm. but in ghana we have the commercial losses which is the people doing the illegal connections mm. people the money's not being collected on mm. time and being collected at all mm. those are the things that but they need to be reduced yes but that is why pds has come in pds mm. mandate is to reduce they, they have specific mandates mm. reduce technical and commercial losses bring in efficiency. Mm -hmm. So the big changer where the PULC have looked at the numbers and mm -hmm. said that, look, with PDS now coming in and guaranteeing certain payments, going forward, one of the things that's going to happen is that, you know, ECG is still there, mm -hmm. which is structured ECG. Mm -hmm. ECG is going to give power to PDS. If ECG gives PDS, let's say 2,000 megawatts, if PDS guarantees 100% payment to ECG. So ECG now gets 100% payment, right. be it that PDS is able to collect or not. Right. That's not ECG's problem. problem. Right. So going forward, we, are, we know that whatever um, megawatts is used and distributed by PDS, mm. you and I, PDS is going to come with us with sticks to collect their money. Right. Thank you very much, uh, Kajopoku, for your time. Uh, Kajopoku is an energy consultant helping us to do some analysis uh, in the energy sector with regards to the very latest increase in electricity tariffs.